Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Microsoft Office Word 2007 document in MLA formatting. So after you've opened the document, the first thing you're going to want to do is change the font. So we go up here to the font box, and you're going to choose Times New Roman, and you're going to change the size of the font to 12 points. The next thing you're going to want to check is the margins. Typically speaking, your margins should already be correct, but to check them, you go to Page Layout, Margins, and make sure you have Normal, or 1 inch, on all four sides. Then go Home. The next thing we're going to look at is Spacing. Now, I know that this button right here will automatically change it to double spacing. However, in Word 2007, they have added this feature called Space Between Paragraphs, and that is something that you do not want in MLA formatting. So, we are going to click this box, which shows the paragraph dialog box. And this is what we were talking about, where it has spacing after. So, we're going to change that to zero and then we're going to change our spacing to double. And you can also click the Don't Add Space Between Paragraphs in the same style box. When you're done, click OK. Next we're going to look at the header. There are many, many, many different ways to do a header. This is just one way. If you know of a better way or an easier way that works for you, that is fine. Okay, so to get to the header, there are two main ways to get to the header. One is to just double click the header, or you can go to insert, and here we have information about the header. So, we're in the header, and if you notice, it is over here on the left, and you want it to be on the right. So I'm going to go to the Home tab, and click on Right Alignment, you could also just click Control and R at the same time. Alright, because we changed the font in our paper, we're also going to change the font in our header. So you're going to change it to Times New Roman 12 as well. Once you've done that, you can go back to the header footer bar by clicking header and footer. And so the first thing you want in your header is your last name. Since this is Susie Sample's paper, we're going to put sample, then one space, and now you want the page number. So we're going to go over here to page number, choose current position, and a plain number. So now you're done with your header. However, um, for my class, I don't like there to be a header on the first page. I feel that it's redundant to have your name here as well as over here. So I would like for you to click different first page. If you're watching this video for someone else, typically speaking, MLA does leave the header there. I just don't like to have it there. So once you're done, you can either double click out in the body of your document or you can click close header and footer. So now you're ready to put the intro information on your paper. The first line should be your name, which as I said was Susie Sample. Typically speaking in MLA, the next line is going to be your instructor's name, and the third line will be the course name, and the fourth line will be the date, but once again this is something I do a little differently. On the second line I would like for you to put the name of the course. On the third line is where I would like for you to put my name. And then on this line, you want the date. For some reason, MLA does their dates in a little bit different format. Um, you put the day first, then the month, then the year. All right, so now you're ready for your title. You will hit enter one time. You will center, and then you will type your title.
Um, a couple important things to know about the title. You'll see that I did not capitalize of or the in MLA. Every word should be capitalized unless it is an article, and the articles are the, a, and and, or a preposition. However, if the first word or the last word is an article or preposition, they're still capitalized. Another important note, your paper should always, always, always have a title, and it should always be a relevant title. Once you're done with your title, you hit enter one time, and you go back to left alignment, and now you're ready to start typing your paper. Start your paper by indenting, so I hit tab one time, and then begin typing your paper. begin typing your paper here. This is the introduction to, paper, to your paper. You'll introduce the topic. It's also important to note that if this is a formal paper, you would not be able to use the words your, your, and you. You would not be able to use the word I because formal papers should be in third person. Okay, so when you're done typing your paper, if you have a works cited page, this is how you do that. Don't just enter down until you get to the next page because then if you ever add information or take away information you have to readjust your works cited page. Instead go to insert and then insert a page break. So now we're ready to format the works cited page. So go back to home center and type the words works cited. They should not be bigger. They should not be another color. They should not be a different font. Just plain old works cited. So you'll hit enter one time, go to left alignment, and you're ready to start your works cited entries. Uh, works cited entries use a feature called the hanging indent. To get the hanging indent, we're going to go back to that paragraph box and show the paragraph dialog box. And under indentation, you'll see special, and you'll choose hanging. Then hit OK. So now you start typing your works cited entry. Okay, so obviously this is not what your works cited entry will say. I just wanted to show you the hanging indent that we just set up, which means your first line is over here one inch away from the margin, and your second line is another quarter inch over. If you have a third line, it would also be a quarter inch over. Um, your works cited page, the entry should be alphabetized by the first word, unless the first word is an article, such as the, an, or a. Um, another important thing to note is I know that Word has this option where you can do references and choose your style and do a works cited page through this. I'm not against using shortcuts, however, you should know that this does it incorrectly. You will miss points if you use this feature because it uses the 2003 citation method. It also does parenthetical citations incorrectly. On a parenthetical citation you should have a page number if it is from a book and this form does not include the page number. So please, please, please do not use this. Just look at your textbook for your course to figure out how you need to do your work cited entries. And once you've done all that, 
your paper should be in MLA formatting and you should be ready to go.